Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we will learn about how to import users to WriteFax server. Okay, and it is very simple, very easy. And uh, I need a highlighter to discuss. I took highlighter and let me move. So guys, importing users. Okay, to simplify the process of setting up all your uh, network users in the WriteFax server, you can import users into the fax server from your network or uh, from an ASCII files okay very easy and uh, you can see you will have this wizard and path is you need to go to interface fax manager utility and from there you need to select uh, import users from NT domain okay in my previous video I spoke about how you can add a one by one users to your right fax server or integrate with uh, active directory now we are uh, learning about importing users okay so here you can import group itself okay and uh, so here you can see you know enter the computer name you need to give here computer name primary domain controller okay or uh, any primary domain controller or backup domain controller from which users will be imported here you need to give and select group that need to be imported and uh, uh, we have option like uh, uh, you can see here auto assigning uh, options automatically assign fax number or routing code so we don't have any routing and all uh, code or fax number I have not created so we will not go to that one okay and uh, here use a uh, new user template so that is not required much here and uh, user from which new users inherit properties so we'll see about uh, importing first okay and uh, here you can check counts also added and all updated counts and all okay guys and uh, let me take you to active directory and uh, server so this is our active directory domain controller here what we will do we will create one group okay separate new fresh for testing so i have one uh, group already so i'm creating one more for better understanding and uh, give uh, first of all uh, organizational unit to so RF test I'm giving okay uh -oh. okay RF test I gave this is one organizational unit it is hanging okay RF test came inside this only so here only we will create one user group okay new group i'm creating uh test one two three i gave it okay and we'll create users here also a uh, new user i am giving test one okay so this is my test one user and uh, next i'm giving and check marking give password okay i gave password and i'm making this test one member of this group test one two three so test one two three similarly i will create uh, one more user group uh, that is test two okay here test two and one more user we will create give okay finish test 3 I'm creating 3 user test 3 test 3 user I created and this password so I have created 3 users we will import these users to uh, right facts you can see here it is member of you can check from here okay test 1 2 3 close it now we will go to facts server and here you can see 
we don't have any group by test 1 2 3 okay let me take you to group we have one test rf group only but we will add uh, uh, test 1 2 3 by importing it so very simple uh, you can go to utility and import users from network or nt domain okay click this automatically it took uh, win1 win1 should be my domain it seems or uh, yes win1 is my domain controller name okay and uh, here we need to select group so select this one and uh, you can see what and all groups we have here so i am selecting test one two three okay and routing and all we don't have as of now uh, i think i created let's see if i have created routing facts okay no problem so let's see whatever is coming and uh, i'm just giving import so as so, of so now the count is zero zero both side and i'm just clicking import so you can see it added three users okay you can see here added three count came three now close it so we'll go to users now and see test one test two test three is available here okay and uh, group let's see whether a group is available is not no group it will not show it is not showing refresh it once okay so group we have created here that is available but users got added to uh, right fact server or imported successfully okay guys very simple from here you can edit these users once again so the user which you create here is reflecting okay and if you want to integrate once again with your uh, active directory you can integrate just select this check mark you can see it is integrated click ok that's it very simple so i hope now you have understood how to migrate or how to how to import users in bulk okay that is possible with the help of import users utility so guys i am done with this video here uh, this user setup uh, concept is done now we will move to another one how to create users how to i mean how to create group actually and that is also almost covered in my videos but once again i will create separate uh, video on that so till then bye bye